Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're going to do a muzzle to rear butt plate uh, show and tell video again. And this is actually my first AR. So let's dive right into it. In summary, real quick, I do actually have the box. So I'm going to try to get this into view here. This is a Colt Sporter rifle, and this is a, I don't know if you can see that, Colt Sporter Comp H-Bar. This is a CH prefix serial number, model R6700, 223 REM, also in parentheses, 5.56 millimeter. And that's basically all the identifying marks on that uh, label. There are no other labels on the outside of the box short of a uh, shipping label. So I'm not going to bother showing that. Uh, inside was just cart real basic cardboard insert and a plastic bag, a zip tie, That's about it, nothing fancy. So I'm going to set this aside. So it came with instruction manual. I do have a video uh, book review on this. Feel free to check it out. I'll try to put a link in the description. And let's turn this over. So I did add on a muzzle cap. That's just a simple accessory. Keep some dust off of there. And Let's begin with the A2 flash hider. Again, this is a model R6700. This will be a pre ban era model. So, we're going to see a lot of A2 features on here. As described on the box, it did say 223 rem, but in parentheses 5.56 NATO. So if you look at the barrel markings here, if I can get this into focus, I might move the light a little bit closer. Oh, there we go. Um, you see here the MP marking, 5.56 NATO. Then there's another stamp, much deeper, of a C. And then NATO 1 and 9. H bar, so a heavy profile barrel. Here we have the front sight assembly, gas block assembly. You can see the forge markings, and with the, the R6700 model, no bayonet lug, and we'll get into why in a moment. It become much more apparent. So we do have the square front sight post that is adjustable. So you do see the up. Uh, direction marking there with the arrow to the left. Uh, if I flip it over, let's see if there's any other markings on the base. No, just the pin. So this one does have a sling swivel, rubberized coating. I have added a sling, and that should be the only other accessory currently on here that did not come with. Uh, this item itself. Here we have the round ribbed hand guards. So we're going to have the round end at the front here, not the triangular. We have the uh, angled delta ring, hand guard ring back here. And this model did come with a detachable carry handle with A2 rear sights. You can see the forge marking up here on the carry handle as well as the sight controls and let me rotate this around the uh, disassembly knobs. So if we actually get into taking this off With me. It's just basically a chunk of equipment here that can be taken off and then you can mount uh, whatever optics 
you want separately. This plate should come loose and this comes off. There are no T markings, but we do have basically the rail as stand has become standard by that point. Um, a little closer look at the controls on the site assembly. You can see the markings there. And they will rotate around with the numbers for the range increasing there, which would change the height of your site assembly there, as well as your windage on this side as I'm dropping knobs. So, put that back on real quick. You can see the underside of the carry handle there, how this is all mounted in. Put that there for now. Continuing up the receiver. See, this one does have a case deflector, forward assist with the round button, ejection port cover, spring, little C clip there, and basic charging handle. A2 buttstock with the uh, flip plate at the end. This one did not come with any contents, but you can see the smooth colored uh, interior there. Very nice. Uh, the end screws, the rear swivel sling, and again the added on sling that did not come with it. A2 finger bump grip and this should be a single stage trigger there is no take up and regular flat trigger guard bar basic bolt stop bolt release single sided safety we do have just the general safe and fire marks. Colt logo, Colt lettering, Sporter Competition H bar, caliber 223, serial number, slightly different font, stamping, the CH, and then also the numbers itself uh, are. Uh, different font as well uh, but again here it says 223 but the barrel says 5.56 so go figure the Colts t location text up there you can see the kind of ground off selector areas and a protruding takedown pin now if we notice this has the large front hole section with the two screw uh, Kind of a rotational pin assembly there I have actually never taken that apart so this uh, again leads up to the question of what the heck is going on with this thing particularly what is this going on here the third pin as opposed to your normal trigger and hammer uh, pins uh, so let's go ahead and open this up let me push this through. Grab it on this side. Got a basic buffer and spring. If I uh, actually press out the detent, you can see the style of oops, I should have done that first. Of rifle weight there. I'm gonna push that back now. Okay. And uh, basic uh, single stage hammer. And now we'll get into this third pin. So, historically, the R6700, even though it was pre-ban, Colt, with their strategic planning, had already started designing what would be now known as compliant style rifles, even though this one in particular would not the full list of all the 
lack of or additional added on uh, design aspects to be so-called compliant which tend to be merely cosmetic differences that have no real difference on what comes out the business end of here but go figure so again no bayonet lug that was one cosmetic difference that supposedly uh, would make this a more compliant object um, likewise this screw uh, take down front take down rotational pin assembly uh, was uh, as opposed to this normal capture pin assembly is supposed to be another cosmetic compliance feature and then they put in where would normally be the third pin for the M16 select fire model they instead have placed what is now here a actual coat marked auto sear block which uh, is now pinned in which looks cool but functionally is supposed to deter the installation of additional features to make this fire selectively so add that to the list of compliancy features uh, in addition almost forgot let's take a look at the bolt carrier now again we do have a normal carry handle we can set that aside I can even set this aside right now and let's not forget about the magazine but standard uh, bolt head although this lug here you can see does appear to be trimmed interesting uh, cam pin lug looks pretty normal vent holes staked very nicely uh, here's your gas key area here's your firing pin here's your little ramp area here but now we're starting to get back on the back side of the bolt and now we can see here this is not an M16 bolt you can see the bottom is cut away this is in order to remove the material that would normally be in place to activate other additional uh, parts to make this selective uh, so again another compliancy type of feature here we have a surgically altered bolt uh, let me put this back real quick it does assemble just like the normal design pattern it just happens to be lightened which makes me wonder if they had to actually change the weight to accommodate for the lighter bolt carrier group and a normal 20 inch barrel if I have not mentioned the length already previously um, let's take a look at the magazine this too is a compliancy feature so even though this appears to be a 20 round magazine this is actually Colt marked alrighty we can see here what is this this dimple here this is actually a rivet to a stoppage block which neuters this down to right here as my finger stops this is only a five round magazine mm -hmm. five not ten not twenty not more than that five so if I grab over here this is another Colt magazine slightly different markings but you can see this one is a normie no dimple with this rivet there just normal uh, kind of the uh, helpful disassembly pin here and the alignment pin this is a full 20 that goes all the way down 
until the spring stops. Same dimensions. But again, this one has a stop block in there to prevent additional rounds from going in. So I'm trying to summarize here all these little compliancy features, the magazine, the bolt, the take front takedown rotational pin, the auto sear block, the lack of bayonet lug. The only other thing I don't see they didn't do at the time was um, not thread the barrel so you could not uh, attach a flash hider which this one is an A2 model so they hadn't quite gotten to that but then again in, in the timeline they had not encountered the actual AWB ban of 1994 which put in a whole bunch of cosmetic feature bands, which really didn't accomplish anything, but uh, that is history. And that did sunset, which then allowed me to acquire this with no hassles. So let's flip it back over again, give you a look at model R6700 Colt H-Bar Sporter Competition in caliber 223 with a 5.56 20 inch barrel so quick look at history there at what Colt did pre-ban with cosmetic hump compliancy features so this has been another show and tell muzzle to rear or ball plate type video. Feel free to check out others on the channel. We also do a selection of book reviews. Every once in a while an unboxing video and other area R related topic videos. Feel free to check all of them out. Feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you next time.